Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss the question which says Reshma wishes to mix two types of food P and Q in such a way that the vitamin contents of the mixture contain at least 8 units of vitamin A and 11 units of vitamin P. Food P costs rupees 60 per kg and food Q costs rupees 80 per kg. Food P contains 3 units per kg of vitamin A and 5 units per kg of vitamin P. While food Q contains 4 units per kg of vitamin A and 2 units per kg of vitamin P. Determine the minimum cost of the mixture. So let's start the solution. Let the mixture contains kg of food P and y kg of food Q. So obviously we have x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0. Now according to the given question Reshma wishes to mix two types of food P and Q in such a way that the vitamin contents of the mixture contain at least 8 units of vitamin A and food P contains 3 units per kg of vitamin A while food Q contains 4 units per kg of vitamin A. So, according to the given question, we have 3x plus 4y is greater than equal to 8. Now, this is a constraint. on vitamin A again Reshma wishes that the mixture should contain at least 11 units of vitamin B now food P contains 5 units per kg of vitamin B while Food Q contains 2 units per kg of vitamin B. So we have 5x plus 2y greater than equal to 11. Now this is a constraint on vitamin B. Now again we are given food P costs rupees 60 per kg and food Q costs rupees 80 per kg. So we have the total cost in rupees is equal to 60x plus 80y. Because we have assumed that let the mixture contains x kg of food P and y kg of food Q. Let z is equal to 60x plus 80y. So the mathematical formulation of the given problem is
minimize z is equal to 60x plus 80y subject to the constraints plus 4y greater than equal to 8 5x plus 2y greater than equal to 11 x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0 now z is equal to 60x plus 80y is our objective function we have to minimize z let us give this as number 1. Now this is a constraint on vitamin A. Let us give this as number 2. This is a constraint on vitamin B. Let us give this as number 3. And these are non-negative constraints. Let us give this as number 4. Now we will draw the graph and find the feasible region subject to these given constraints. Now, the equation corresponding to the inequality 3x plus 4y greater than equal to 8 is 3x plus 4y is equal to 8. So, we will first draw the line representing the equation 3x plus 4y is equal to 8. Now, clearly the points 0, 2 and 8 over 3, 0 lie on the line. 3x plus 4y is equal to 8. Therefore, the graph of this equation can be drawn by plotting points 0, 2 and 8 over 3, 0 and then joining them. Now, let us take A as a point 0, 2 and B as a point 8 over 3, 0. So, AB represents the equation 3x plus 4y is equal to A. Now, line AB divides a plane into two half planes. So, we will consider the half plane which will satisfy two Clearly, the origin does not satisfy this inequality. So, the half plane which does not contain the origin is the graph of 2. Again, the equation of the line corresponding to the inequality 5x plus 2y greater than or equal to 11 is 5x plus 2y is equal to 11. So, we will draw the line representing the equation 5x plus 2y is equal to 11 on the same graph. Now, clearly the points 0, 11 over 2 and 11 over 5, 0 satisfy the equation 5x plus 2y is equal to 11. So, we will plot these points on the same graph and then we will join them. Now, let us take C as a point 0, 11 over 2 and D as a point 11 over 5, 0. So, the line CD represents the equation of the line 5x plus 2y is equal to 11. Again, line CD divides a plane into two half planes. So, we will consider the half plane which will satisfy 3. Now, clearly the origin does not satisfy this inequality. So, 
द हाफ प्लेन विच डज नॉट कंटेन द ऑरिजिन इज द ग्राफ ऑफ थ्री अगेन एक्स ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वाई ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो इम्प्लाइज दैट द ग्राफ फ्लाइज इन द फर्स्ट क्वार्रेंट ऑनली नाउ हेयर द येलो शेडेड पोर्शन इन दिस ग्राफ इज द फिजिबल रीजन सेटिस्फाइंग all the given constraints now the lines ab and cd intersect at a point let us take this point as a point e now we can find the coordinates of this point either by inspection or by solving the two equations of the lines intersecting at this point so here we observe that the coordinates of e are 2 1 by 2 so here the feasible region is unbounded now the coordinates of the corner points c e and b r Zero eleven by two, two one by two, and eight over three zero. now according to the corner point method minimum value of z will occur at any of these points now we have z is equal to 60x plus 80y so we will evaluate z at each corner point now at the point 0 11 by 2 Z is equal to 60 into 0 plus 80 into 11 over 2, and this is equal to 0 plus 440, and this is again equal to 440. Again, at the point 2 1 over 2. Z is equal to 60 into 2 plus 80 into 1 over 2, so this is equal to 120 plus 40, and this is again equal to 160. Again, at the point 8 over 3, 0, Z is equal to 60 into 8 over 3 plus 80 into 0 so this is equal to 160 plus 0 which is equal to 160 now here we observe that the minimum value of z is 160 since the feasible region is unbounded therefore 160 may or may not be the minimum value of z so to decide this issue we will graph the inequality 60x plus 80y less than 160 that is since 
the visible region is unbounded so we will graph the inequality sixty x plus eighty y less than one sixty to check whether the resulting open half plane has points in common with feasible region or not. If it has common points, then 160 will not be the minimum value of set. Otherwise, 160 will be the minimum value of set. Again, the equation of the line corresponding to this inequality is 60x plus 80y is equal to 160. Now, clearly the points 0, 2 and 2, 1 by 2 satisfy the equation 60x plus 80y is equal to 160. So here the green shaded region in this graph represents the inequality 60x plus 80y less than 160. Clearly it has no point common with the feasible region. So, the minimum value of Z is 160. Hence, the minimum value of Z is equal to 160. But, occurs at two points that is at the point two one by two and at eight over three zero now we know that if two corner points produce the same maximum or minimum value of the objective function, then every point on the line segment joining these points will also give the same maximum or minimum value. Hence, the minimum value of Z will occur at all points of the line segment joining the points 2, 1 by 2 and 8 over 3, 0. Hence the answer for this question is minimum cost is equal to rupees 160 at all points. Line on segment joining eight over three zero and two one by two. So this completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.